welcome to Earth Engine tutorial episode 38. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Cloud Optimize GOT with uh, Google Earth Engine. Let's get started. So uh, first, you need to go to my GitHub repo to download the noble example. So once you go to the repo, uh, click examples, notebooks. It should be number 38. So once you open, uh, click the roll button. And then just uh, save as. Uh, you can save this one to your local computer. For example, I'm going to save to my downloads folder. And it's here. So once it's downloaded, we can uh, get into Jupyter Notebook. So I'm going to just type Jupyter Notebook. And then it should open um, the notebook on your browser. And I'm going to get into downloads. And let's open this one. Okay, let me unzip this one. And so this uh, tutorial has two uh, portions. The first one is uh, going to show you how to load uh, just one single uh, GOT is uh, on Earth Engine uh, image. And the second part is to show you how to load a bunch of uh, GOT together as an image collection. So first, um, let's briefly talk about uh, Cloud Optimized GeoTIFF. Um, you can see the uh, definition here. Uh, the, it's essentially a regular GeoTIFF, but it's uh, being organized in a way that it can be accessed efficiently through the cloud. And um, you can learn more information by going to the link here, uh, called, uh, Cloud Optimized GeoTIFF uh, website. And here shows you more information. So essentially, you will see from here, um, it's a regular uh, geotiff and with two um, like some kind of organization. So make it more efficiently uh, being accessed through the cloud. So it's tiling and overview. Uh, this is somehow similar to uh, some geotiff store on your local computer. Um, for example, um, uh, traditional GS or remote sensing software might create some pyramids. Um, files and in a very similar but it's also utilizing the uh, http uh, range uh, request so basically it only requests the data when it's needed um, so it's not going to download the entire data and makes it very very efficient and there are some um, public available cloud optimized GeoTIFF. Uh, you can click for example the first one uh, here go to this website and then from here, if you click, uh, click the cloud, uh, catalogs, uh, you'll be able to see some of these uh, hosted on some cloud opt uh, providers. And so in this tutorial, I'm going to just, uh, use this one, uh, plan disaster uh, data. I'm going to talk about that later. The other one is the Google Cloud. So if you click the link, and if you go to this uh, website, uh, some of these on the left side here, you see Lancet Data Sentinel 2. Uh, and this, is, this data set actually already available uh, in the Earth Engine Data Catalog. We don't really need to uh, use this, but I'm just going to show you, like, because these are all cloud optimized uh, GOT, so we can use that with Earth Engine. Um, and we're going to go through that uh, shortly. Okay, so uh, this is some background information. Now let's get started how to do the coding. And the first person is how to use just one single GOT. And as I mentioned, um, you, those data are stored in the cloud. And for the time being, only uh, GOT stored on Google Cloud Storage uh, is supported. If others are uh, hosted on uh, Amazon Web Services, uh, those are not supported. So if you go to this one uh, website that I showed you earlier, uh, if you come back to the data catalog. So from here, if you see the link, these are where uh, the, uh, the files are hosted. So these are not Google Cloud services, uh, Google Cloud Storage, not, not, and only the one is basically here, Google Earth Engine, but this one is already within the Earth Engine data catalog. So we don't need to use this. And if you scroll down to this one here, uh, planned disaster data and if you see the url storage.googleapis.com so this one is actually stored uh, on the google cloud and once you get into this one 
So this is the data catalog and you can see the title. So if you click link, click, if you get into this one, for example, and click the exit uh, tab. From here, you're going to see uh, some of the files and we're looking for this one, GeoTIF and GeoTIF, right? So if you click, for example, the first one, uh, once you click, it's going to download the file. So uh, we don't want to download because we, we, we just want to use this one in the cloud. And that's the point of using cloud optimized GeoTIF. Um, they are being hosted on cloud um, providers and we can use Earth Engine to load the data directly from the cloud without having to download the data. So let's go back to the first example. And again, um, let's just create an interactive map uh, first and import the library and create the uh, interactive uh, map. Uh, you might notice that Google map, just the base map is being uh, updated. So it might look a bit different compared to uh, the previous tutorials. So next, uh, we, we need to find out the link. So the URL, uh, the, you can provide this in two ways. So you can either, if you know the uh, Google Cloud uh, Storage URL, um, you can use this one, or you can directly use the uh, HTTP. So in the GMAP package, I already know uh, imp implement functions to convert this one to this one. So essentially, this is the final uh, UI going to pass into the function, um, but you can also provide this one. So uh, let's come back to this one here. And all we need to do is just need to right click and copy link address. So assume that you have some GOT store in the Google uh, Cloud Stories. Once you have the URL, you can copy the link. And then let me add a new sale just to show you um, what it looks like. Like so, if you see from here, cloud storage, Google API, and this is the uh, storage at the bucket and the folder, different folder, and it must ends with a uh, .tif. If you see from this one here, okay. So essentially, this is the URL. It is the one here, and we're gonna execute. Once you have the URL, all you need to do is call the function low underscore GOT and we can just execute. If you want, you can uh, press uh, shift and tap on your keyboard and to bring up the uh, the help documentation. So this shows you some of the information here, what this function is used for. It's used for loading a cloud optimized GOT. It supports uh, only Google Cloud Storage. So you can have different options you can provide a GS uh, or you can provide HTTPS and sometimes you might have different uh, format. For example, it can be Google APIs or it can be storage.cloud or Google. So this is the, uh, both of these two are acceptable uh, formats. So you can use either one. Okay, so once we load the file, we can then add the data to the map. Okay, so similarly, uh, like what we did uh, in the past, you can set uh, visualization parameters and then we're going to add this data layer to the map and also going to center the object. So let's take a look. Okay, so now we have low, uh, loaded data. And this is in a way very similar to Google's engine, right? If you have a unique ID and then you can um, just based on the image ID, you can add the data. Now we can have a new URL and then that one is from the Google Cloud Stories. And we'll just load the GeoTIFF. So once we get into this one, you can zoom in, you can zoom out. It's still interactive. So we can click the inspector and then we just click, click. Yeah, you can still get the uh, the values of each uh, spectral band. So this one is for, uh, for spectral bands. And then you can also use the plotting, for example. All right. Okay, so this is uh, very simple and straightforward. You just need to figure out the URL and then call this function. Next, I'm going to show you how to load a list of a, a cloud optimized GeoTIFF as an image collection. Because sometimes you might have a bunch of images um, cover an area and then you want to just quickly uh, put all the images together as an image collection. Uh, you can also do that using the GMAP. Similarly, in this example, we are going to use uh, the other one. Uh, the data set store in uh, the Google Cloud. Let me uncheck this one. Okay, so you can click the link. Once you get in here, uh, you can read the description if you want. 
but uh, this is what it looks like so yes google uh stories and this is the bucket uh, the ui unique id and also this is the file path right so in this example you can you're going to use this one so you can click and you will open that one um, on your browser and if you it might take a few seconds so in this example we're going to use uh, one lane set uh, eight uh, thing uh, it's uh, 2013 december 28 okay so if you see from this one in here uh, we have multiple bands right it's one each band is uh, one individual file and so sometimes you might want to uh, if you use the uh, earlier example you, you can only load one file at a time but if you want to create some like um composite of multi-spectral bands then you need to do that multiple times so i'm i provide a function here for you to easily load all the files together so all we need to do again let's create an interactive map first and you will see here uh, the links uh, comes from here so if you click for example band they say band 3 once you click here you have two url okay you can either copy this one or you can copy this one okay Did most of these two are acceptable so once you hit copy then you can come back to here you can define a variable okay and then you can paste this one as the url in here since we're going to use this uh, three spectral bands b3 4 and 5 and once we have defined these three variables we can put like all the things into a list okay and then use the url once we have the list then we can pass the list into this function called low geotiff okay with an additional s okay the earlier we only have like geotiff right so for this one it accept multiples uh, list and let's just execute so now this one becomes an image collection so it's basically how many items in your list is going to return an image collection with <coughs> um, the same number of uh, uh, image okay so basically we have three uh, bands and then since these are the uh, cover that, that belongs to the same uh, lane set uh, footprint but the same day so we probably want to convert this one to this image okay but if you have these things come uh, covering different area then you you don't need to convert this one to bands in this case uh we're going to convert the lane set uh, eight um, multi-spectral bands into one single image okay so from image collection to image and then we can rename this uh the name for each band okay so b3 is green b4 is uh red b5 is uh, near infrared and once we convert that one we can also uh, mass out those uh, uh, empty areas okay so let's uh, create once we have the image uh, very similarly we can do uh, visualization okay so i'm going to uh, set the visualization and then add the image and let's take a look okay so this is an image covering the, um, the uh, california okay near san francisco so if you see here you can zoom in you can zoom out um you can use the inspector to inspect the values if you want right green uh, near infrared and red spectral bands so now this one becomes an image uh, earth engine object and then you can do all kind of computation like what you traditionally uh, do with the imagery for example we can create they say uh, normalized difference uh, uh, water index uh, water index right so on oh, no, a vegetation index so in this case uh, yes, we're going to compute the normalized difference uh, near infrared minus uh, red band divided by uh, near infrared plus red band and so let's execute and you should add this one right now quickly to the map you can turn this one on and off right you can also use the inspector to inspect the values okay so okay so this you will see here uh very simple and straightforward you can load one single file a geotiff or you can load a bunch of uh, geotiff together and you can turn convert that to either earth engine image or image collection and then you can do computation 
um, using all kind of uh, OS engine uh, functions. Okay, that's all for this tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, please uh, consider hitting the like button and subscribe to my channel. Hope to see my next video. Take care. Bye bye.